How many of us heard so many times that creating a legacy is something too complex, too difficult? Actually, in philanthropy, we even use the word burden. It is a burden to think about leaving a legacy behind. As a CEO of a family foundation, as a family member in a family foundation, I understand the amount of energy it takes to create a legacy. But it's much easier to think about it in a professional setting, to say we want to be a leading foundation, an excellent organization, lead by pra best practice. This is an amazing way to engage staff and partners. But when we walk into a family board meetings, the conversation is a bit more challenging. We're trying to make everyone more happy, keep things quiet, make sure everything and everyone is comfortable. To simplify the idea of the big legacy, how many of us, when we hear of these amazing stories that someone left this amazing legacy behind them, we stop for a moment and we say, oh, what does it take to do it? How much time they spend on it? What did they do? Did they really pay a price or a personal one to create this? When I often think about it, I think about it today not just as a professional, not just as a family member, although I was married into and not born into this. I think about it as a mother of four kids. Do I want to miss the opportunity to create a legacy, to be part of creation just because it's challenging, just because it's uncomfortable, just because maybe it can get sticky? The answer is absolutely no. I want my kids to know that a legacy is not just what we do. And it's definitely not about how much we give because we can give very little or not have money at all. I grew up in a middle class house. Philanthropy was not even in my vocabulary. Didn't know it exist. But I did know and I did grow up with legacy. My parents installed these values of me of caring, of giving, of responsibility, of compromising. You wake up, you stand up when others need, you sacrifice what you want, you serve in the army, you understand you are part of a bigger picture than you. This is a legacy. Philanthropy is our tool, is a platform to provide us the opportunity to create a better legacy, to maybe stop and make mistakes, to maybe stop and think what does it mean to engage our kids, but we should not confuse money with legacy. Legacy is who we are, is our values, is our mindset. It's our life experience that make us who we are, that we want to pass to our kids, that we want to find a way to connect to the something that's bigger than us. I always think about this conversation I had with my son a few weeks ago walking on one cold Shabbat in Boston. He's 10 years old to the synagogue. And he says, Ima, do you think one day I can be the president of the Ruderman Family Foundation? <laughs> I almost choked. I said, for family harmony, please do not ever repeat this question in front of anyone. Keep it between you and me. We can talk about it. But in the same time, I said to myself, isn't it amazing? For my four kids, he's the youngest. He didn't talk to me about how much you make, how much we give. He said, Ima, can I keep doing what you're doing? Can I be part, in his words, of this amazing opportunity of doing good, of choosing doing what we want? This is not a burden. This is a privilege. This is not a burden. This is our opportunity to connect to our past, installing our values in our kids in the present, and making sure that they will make their choices. They will need to work hard. They will need to prove themselves. They need to own their part in creation of legacy. It's not giving to them because we created it. It's not giving to them because we are associated with money or philanthropy. They need to own it. 
but they're not going to own it if they're going to confuse philanthropy, money, and legacy as one thing. So I do want to say that my experience being an outsider to philanthropy as a family member, but today living it as a mother, as a professional, I understand the dynamic. I understand the difficulties. Believe it or not, I got to sleep with it 24 hours a day. I work with my husband. He is the president. And I constantly think, where is the line? Where is it You know, that's not confusing? But one thing I do know, that philanthropy without legacy is like body without soul. Thank you.